What is going on warriors and farmers of Tamaris? Welcome to the ultimate multi-cavalry guide for the season of strife number two. Today I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different setups that you can use to get very good value against your enemies. You're going to see the talent trees, the artifacts, the war pet, and how to synchronize the match speed so that they move together and do tremendous amount of damage. If you're new here, subscribe for more content, turn on that bell notification and never miss out. Like the video, share it with your friends, drop some comments down below. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Season of Strife number two. Winter is upon us. We have what we call the seasonal talents in the game. The devs have also introduced, um, what is this thing called? Army groups. So this is going to be crucial for your cavalry as well. For today, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different cavalry setup that's going to help you destroy your enemies. So we're going to start off with the first one that I like to use. This is going to be my multiple cavalry marches for this season. I have incorporated the two infantry heroes into the lineup. They are going to take things to the next level. So let us discuss why this lineup is so great. You're going to see the synergy. I'll show you the artifacts and the match speed synchronization. Now, before we get started with all the good stuff, let's do a quick summary of what happens when you bring five cavalry marches to the open field. First of all, cavalry get 1000 instant rage when they charge towards ranged units. So you're guaranteed to melt them in seconds. And then secondly, when you use five multiple cavalry marches, you're going to get surrounded damage bonus dealt. With five marches, you're going to have 15% surrounded damage bonus dealt for each one. So each march is going to get an extra 15% damage dealt. The damage output is going to be tremendous. No enemy is going to be able to withstand the assault. I'm going to start the video by showing you guys how this lineup is going to work. Now I have this lineup right here. This is going to be my catalyst for this lineup. You're going to see how I'm going to use these two pairings to do a bunch of different stuff to different enemies. Let us, let us start off with the first set of legions in this setup. So we have Forondil and Mr. Mogro. Now Forondil has a 40% attack. That's going to help Mr. Mogro rate scale to three different targets. The damage output is going to be ridiculous. This Mogro also has a bruised minus 30% HP. That's going to work well with the Bazak Fedric. So this is going to be nice. And when you look at Mr. Mogro, he has the ability to spread um, the Forondil cowardice to two nearby targets. I tested this on Darkling Guards and it worked. It was spreading the cowardice to like two other targets. So this is awesome. In terms of the artifacts, I decided to use this wolf thingy because it has some legion defense and attack. Now this march is going to lack some kind of defense, which is why I decided to use this artifact. Now I could make things interesting by applying this fang of Ashgari as well, but I think I'm going to be using this one instead. So this is the first march on the roster. I'm going to show you guys the march speed when we go check out the individual heroes. Up next, we have Mr. Um, Mr. Emrys and Mr. Bakshi. I don't think I need to explain anything about these two marches. You already know how they work. We have this crazy artifact that's going to do a lot of damage and provide you with extra attack. It's just going to be awesome. And this is what the pet looks like. First of all, on every pet, you need to have um, fierce attack and intense fierce attack. If you have more room, you can put the crit rate artifacts over here. I mean the crit rate skills and what else? You're going to need the fatal bite as well. So those are the skills that you put on your warped. So this is the second, the second set of legions in the lineup. Moving on to the third legion, which is the catalyst for this lineup. Now these two pairings are just going to be excellent. First of all, you might be wondering why I didn't put Theodore as the primary. That is because if I put Theodore as the primary, the match speed is going to go down. Now I could try and use the speed artifact, but the speed artifact doesn't have a lot of attack, which is why I decided to keep Danfell as the primary. And the reason I put Danfell as the primary is because he has more match speed. Because you can go in the PvP talent tree and the tank talent tree, you get more match speed than what you get from Mr. Theodore. And then the good thing about Danfell is that his rage skill 
um, his right scale has a shield, it does a lot of damage. On top of that, you have this scale here known as the Halfling Fury. Now, this scale is another part of the right scale. When you trigger the right scale, this scale also comes out. Now, it turns out to be part of the right scale. So, when that happens, you are going to get all the stacks to trigger Coupe de Gras for Mr. Theodore. So, this is why I have this lineup over here. Another reason is because I can switch this artifact and take things to the next level. I can give it some defense if I want. I can put the blink artifact here. That way I blink in front of people. When I blink, this guy has a shield and he's going to slow down enemy as well from here, which is pretty nice. And so when I blink also, he has a chance to, you know, give some range resistance, which is going to be super cool. Theodore already has like defense bonus of 30%, which is going to be useful. Now, one of the things that I really like about this lineup is this new artifact that I haven't unlocked yet. The Shield of Sturdiness. Sometimes when you play with your multiple covering marches, you are going to get intercepted and blocked. Well, guess what? This artifact is going to be your exit strategy. So you're going to keep it to push all those who block you out of the way and then you run away. So this is going to be another tactical artifact to use on this march. The good thing is you'll, you're also going to get between 12% to 25% hero skill damage dealt bonus depending on the level of the artifact. So this is going to be interesting. Another artifact that I can put over here is going to be this one right here, the dragon scale armor. Now I'll get a boon shield, but the good thing about this artifact is that it's going to give me plus 10% attack for 10 seconds to three friendly legions. So three of my friendly legions are going to do some crazy damage. On top of that, I'll get some range resistance with Mr. Danfell as the primary. So this is going to be one of my catalyst march. It's going to be doing a lot for this lineup. So much to do over here. Now you can try and swap this too. If you do this, the march speed is going to go down. You'll have to lower the march speed of this march. So now we are done with these three lineups. Let's check out the next one, which is this one right here. I don't think we need a lot of explanation for this one because I just used this speed artifact to bring them all together. Now the march speed is going to be 54% for everybody you see here in this lineup. Now the pet that I'm using over here is this one. I am still working on it. I need to push this to a two star. I'm going to put um what is this artifact called i'm gonna put fatal bite i'm gonna put angry raw i'm gonna put fierce attack i'm going to put intense fierce attack and just get more damage output and then for this one over here i decided to use my best pet which is this one this one advanced moon rage is gonna do so much damage the damage output is ridiculous especially for cavalry now i put this one over here because this march is going to have a decent amount of attack it's gonna have a lot of attack so that's why i have um this pet over here it should be awesome and then last but not least we have the infantry in the lineup um Skogel is gonna be acting as the tank the good thing is she has this skill known as the gorilla tactics while in the field legion gains 60 percent march speed every time they bazooka charge which means every time you charge towards any enemy Skogel is gonna be the first one to hit them and when she hits them, you know, infantry can lower the march speed of enemies by 75% for 8 seconds. So that's going to be nice. Nika is over here to provide some kind of march speed to help out with this lineup. And the pet here, I think I'm going to switch this and put a Bruin Bear maybe. I'm still deciding on what I'm going to do with the pet for this one. So this is my lineup for the Season of Strife. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be recording some gameplays if you guys want to check it out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's go on to the next lineup. Okay, Warriors of Tamaris, my second lineup is going to be similar to the previous one, except this time I'm going to be using five cavalry. So this is the one that we just talked about. And this is the next one, which is five cavalry marches. It's pretty much the same thing. I just removed um, the Skoggle, the infantry one, in case I want to go all cavalry. So everything here is also 54% march speed. 
this time i decided to bring alistair and i put nika over here i have a lot of options i can use i can use kinara i can use um i can use tara over here i can use indies it's just going to depend on what i want to get i can also put Taya if i want to i have a bunch of different options to use over here so this would be my other lineup in case i want to go full cavalry a third lineup that you can try is going to be low match speed but heavy dps i think most of you will like this lineup so this is also another new lineup that you can try for this season of strife it's gonna have low match speed but heavy dps what are some of the changes that we made here this time we decided to get rid of scoggle and put mr danfell as the other infantry so this is going to be like a high dps infantry it's gonna do some damage now i could have put mogro here as a deputy but it's gonna be 10 percent less march speed which is something you don't want if you are in the season of strife with the mastery skills then it would have been a different story you could just put the um atheist winged embrace on mogro and put mogro here as a deputy but that's not what we're doing here so you're gonna have your infantry here for protection it's gonna be danfell nika a lot of damage output and then you have a bunch of cavalry commanders with the skill talent tree as the primary the match speed is not going to be high but the damage output is going to be great you have um, Mr. Alistair teaming up with Mogro. Now, I don't know if Mogro is going to, you know, transmit the cover from Alistair. That is something that I need to test. But yeah, this is going to be a nice lineup. And over here, you can put a bunch of different artifacts. You can put this. You can use something else that you really like. It's going to be up to you. So this would be a nice lineup to use for like... um low match speed heavy dps it's going to be great how about we check out some talent trees and then see the match speed synchronization for the lineup that we talked about so this is my favorite lineup i'm going to show you guys the match speed synchronization they are all moving at 54 percent match speed so let's start off with the first march right here we have um it's going to be for and mr mogro so let's go to the talent tree and you see what is cooking. So this is Forondil. He's got a 20% march speed from here as the primary commander. So we got 20% march speed. We need to get 34% from the talent tree. We got 4 here. We got 5 here. We got 15. We got 10 here. You add them up. That is 54% march speed. Now over here I picked up a bunch of different debuffs to help the Berserker Phaedric do some crazy damage now mine is two stars and i can get up to 16 16 stacks for the arrogance it does some crazy damage i need to pick up some more debuffs i have one point left i'm gonna pick a debuff skill from here and that's going to be great so this is the talent tree for forondil 54 percent match speed so next one we had emrys and bakshi so let's go to emrys and bakshi we have emrys over here from his scale we got eight percent my speed now we go to the talent tree and try and make that 54 percent so we got six here we got five here we got 15 10 we got 10 here you add them up together that is 54 percent my speed i decided to go in all the three different directions and get some hero skill damage so this is what the talent tree looks like i still have one point left not sure where I'm going to drop it, but it looks like it might go somewhere here. Let's keep this party train going. So we are done with Forondil and Emrys. Next on the lineup was... Um, we have Mr. Danfell as the primary with Theodore as the deputy. So where is Theodore? Theodore is the deputy. He's got 10% march speed from here. Which means I need about 54% march speed from... I mean 44% march speed from Mr. Danfell. When we go to the talent tree, we got 6% from here. We got 10 and 10, that is 26. We have 15, which is um, 41. Wait, I lost my navigation. Okay, we got 10 here. 10 here, that is 20, 30, 40. 
plus 10 from Theodore, which is 50. Add this 6, it's 56. But we need 54% match speed. So you need to pay attention to the talent trees because if you look at this node over here, Shield of Stability, it says your Legion gains 1% more defense and takes 1% less damage. But the match speed is reduced by 2%. So I have total 56 and this one is reducing it by 2%. It's back to 54%. Now the three legions have 54% match speed. Next one on the list, we had Mr. Urag and Tobin. So I decided to put Urag primary and then take advantage of this speed artifact. Now, if I don't want to use the speed artifacts, I can put Tobin as the primary and I just put another DPS artifact. But I want to take advantage of the skill talent tree. So from Mr. Urak, we have 8% match speed from here. We go to the talent tree. We need to make this all the way up to 54. But if you remember, we have 18% match speed from this artifact. So it's 18% plus we got 8% here, which is 26. We're going to come over here, grab 6 from here, which is 32. We got 15 from here, which is 47. And then 47, you add this 6. It's going to be 53. So this one is missing 1% match speed. I am still thinking of putting. Um, there is this pet skill over here. I'm going to I might have to switch my pets. The pet skill that I'm talking about is this one over here. It should give me that extra 1% match speed. Like I could use this pet and then put this wild agility to give me extra 1% match speed. What does a one star look like? As you can see over here, I get that extra 1% match speed that I need. So that is something I'm going to consider. But as of right now, they move together and they do things together. The last one in the lineup was Mr. Mrs. Stoggle with Nika. So Nika here has a 10% infantry march speed from here. And then we go to Skoggle and I show you her talent tree. You pick up every single march speed that you, that you can get. So we got all the march speed, all of it. You're going to need all of it for the infantry to keep up. And then they are going to move together. So these are the talent trees for all the marches that I'm using. The march speed is 54%. The purpose of the cavalry multiple melee units that I have is to move fast and just catch up with anybody and wreck them right away. Also get out of trouble. As I showed you guys with my Catalyst March, which is this one right here, I will be putting the Shield of Sturdiness to push anyone away. All who try to block me, push them away and then run and leave to fight another day. So I'm going to show you guys how this thing moves together at the same speed. So they're all here, all five of them. Let me try sending them somewhere over here. Okay, let me click this spot. So they're going to be moving there. When I click over here, you can see how the march speed is synchronized. As you guys can see, all of them are going to get there almost at the same time. Just look at the time. The march speed is the same. This is what you need for your cavalry. This is what you need. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the guide for the multiple cavalry that I have right now. This is the season of strife. We don't have any mastery. I mean, any season talents. So this is what the lineup looks like. Um, if you're going to be playing the season with the mastery skill, it's going to be a little bit different. Now we also have these army groups that was added. I'm going to try and see if I can incorporate this army group into my cavalry lineup. As of right now, I haven't picked anything yet. I'm going to wait until our level one pass is open. I'm going to fight without picking anything. I want to see what my enemies are having. Another reason I haven't picked is because I want to save my one reset for later on and use it in the battle preparation towards the end of the season, especially if we end up winning early or losing early. It's just going to depend on what's going to happen. So this is the plan. This is the guide for the multiple cavalry as of right now. If you're new, subscribe for more content. What do you guys think of this lineup? Let me know down below. If you got some more tips and tricks, comment them down below. If you're new here, you know what to do. Until then, see you guys in the next one.